Welcome back to Writing Done Right. Well, today we're going to talk about assigning an ISBN number to your book, where to do it, and how to get it done. So we're actually going to log into the account in the United States, which is the only place you can get an ISBN officially, and we're going to walk through that process. Thanks for checking out this video. I am Tom Morosky, an author and a technology consultant. And on this channel, we teach you all the nuts and bolts about writing and publishing and all these different elements so you can make a book highly professional and just get it out for the world to read. And so today we're talking a little bit more about ISBNs. Of course, I have another video, so have a look at that one for more details as well. I'm going to go ahead and briefly summarize some things, and then we're actually going to go on on into the My Identifiers account and assign an ISBN. First, do you need one? The question here is, do you need the ISBN number? And um, if so, how do you go about getting it? Well, if you are self-publishing your book, you're going to need an ISBN number. If you are going to be publishing it through any other publisher, being an independent publisher, being at a pay-to-play publisher, uh, being at a traditional publisher, you do not need a number because the publishing company is going to assign a number. The ISBNs are tied to the publisher. So you can't say, hey, I bought some ISBNs. Here's my ISBN number, Mr. Publisher. Can you publish my book with this number? They can't because your ISBNs are tied to the publisher. And if you're just an individual, they're tied to whatever quasi account you created when you created your account. Now, if you're planning on publishing a number of books, it is absolutely worth creating the account and even going through a process of getting an LLC and officially creating a publishing company, even if the only books in there are going to be yours. That's okay. Number of people do that and do it very successfully. Now, if you are going to be using one of the other services like Amazon or Ingram now allows uh, uh, provides you ISBNs, you may not need to buy one independently. You can get one of their self-publishing ISBNs. So Amazon will um, will provide ISBN numbers. Um, Ingram will provide them, and probably some of the other services that I have not used as much. Uh, like uh, Lulu probably has a service as well. It's become so popular that many of your big printers that will allow individuals to submit books to be printed will have a means to get them. Are those free ones worth getting? I do not like them because it does not uniquely identify you and it shows as a self-published book if somebody is looking the numbers up. Uh, so it doesn't seem to me as professional. Additionally, at least in my experience, when you're using these services, at least on Amazon's, I'll just say on Amazon's, you do not get any barcoding with pricing information. If you let them affix the ISBN and the barcode, you're not getting any price information, which means you can't sell that book in several bookstores uh, without that pricing information. I do not know how Ingram, Spark, and Lulu handle this. Uh, this is These are fairly new services they offer, so it'd be worth looking into it and asking them if the pricing information is attached to the ISBN and the barcode that they would give you. Now, when we get into the account here, so, so sit down and say, I'm going to want my own ISBNs. I'm going to just create a little publishing account. I'm going to go on over and I'm going to purchase a block of ISBNs. Now, there are going to be some companies that are going to want to upsell you different products and services and tie these to ISBNs. Do not use any of those. If you're not getting your ISBN directly from your publisher or affixed from your book printer in the United States, you are buying it from Boker. If you're buying it from anywhere else, there's some other weird string attached and it's not worth diggling through the tanglings to figure it out. So Boker is going to go over and redirect you to myidentifiers.com. That is the only place in the United States that with the authority to sell ISBNs. So you're going to head on over to there, and then you're going to buy ISBNs. The more you buy at a time, the cheaper it becomes. Okay, You're going to have a publishing company established. You're going to fill in all of that information, and then you're going to purchase the ISBNs, and then their system is going to tie those ISBNs to your publishing company. In my case, I have also set up an imprint. So an imprint is... 
a subsidiary of a publishing company that will have a specific focus. So I have my main publisher, which is Our Walk in Christ Publishing. So if you are doing anything in the Christian world, go ahead and reach out to me if you are looking for an independent publisher that's not pay to play. Um, and we'll talk about publishing your book. But I also have, unrelated to that, science fiction books. And so I have written a couple, and uh, I know some other people have written some, so I'm publishing another person's science fiction book. So I've created an imprint tied to my publishing company called Worldware Press, where I can do the science fiction stuff in there as well. And so the ISBNs that I buy, when you assign it, you're assigning it as either your main publishing or one of your various imprints, so it all gets tied back together. All right. And then when you get in here and do that, you will then be able to fill out all of the metadata that you need. And then we will, from that point, go forward and uh, fill in everything. And then when some, any book publisher or book distributor or uh, anybody that wants to get into the, the art of, of listing and selling books, all they need is that ISBN and all of the metadata that you fill in is going to be tied right on into that. And so it's going to work really well for sorting and organizing. And that's why it's there's so many of these little fine points involved in assigning the numbers. Now, when you are going to purchase yours, look into trade organizations. So I'm a member of the Christian Independent Publishers Association. That actually gets me discounts at Boker and also discounts at Ingram Spark for getting the books into the main book distributors. So I have a certain number of times I can use my access code per year uh, and actually get my uh, get things a little bit cheaper. So when I need to buy new ISBNs, I use the code that comes from my membership with that publishing organization. And there's going to be similar publishing organizations with various different genres out there and things like that. And so look into those professional organizations if you are going to be buying a lot of ISBNs because it's going to save you a lot of money. A single ISBN is going to cost you, I think, I don't have the price off the top of my head, but actually a couple hundred dollars. Uh, but you can buy uh, you can buy a block of 10 for like 300 which drastically reduces it. And then if you want to buy a block of 1000 I think the next one's a hundred and then a block of a thousand, then they they get cheaper and cheaper per ISBN that you're using. And then of course you can apply uh, whatever discount codes you need to apply in the process. Now, uh, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and head on over to the uh, website. I'm going to show you all the information that you have before you get there. You're going to want to make sure you have a few things in order before setting up your numbers. Okay. Here's the basic rundown of the things you're going to need. Obviously, you need the author name, you need the publisher name, the imprint. You want to have a the front cover of the book done. And I always recommend, if you follow my, my videos, doing your front cover first and then doing your wraparound cover after your interior design. Having that front cover, though, gives you promotional information, stuff to easily put on social media. It will give you the information you need for your metadata, which can be done several months in advance. And so here's what we, we end up getting is you need your book cover. You're just your front cover, not your whole wraparound. You need your front cover. You need your author. You need your author bio. You need a uh, 300 word or less description of your book. You want your retail pricing information. You want your worldwide uh, distribution plan. All of these things get tied into the ISBN. So this becomes the metadata that is affixed to it. So with all of that information that you have, let's head on over to the website and we'll go ahead and talk about filling that in. So jumping in over to the computer, what we're going to do here is run through your account. So I have all my different ISBNs here. So I've created my account at uh, bokersmyidentifiers.com. I have purchased ISBNs and I have four unassigned ISBNs left. Oh boy, we're going to take two of those today. So what we're going to do is you're going to start with assigning a title. And then when we're done with the first one, which is going to be the print version, we have the option to copy it to another ISBN for the ebook version. Now, one thing I like to do is I'm going to start by just copying the ISBN here. And I have some descriptions over here that we're going to do. I don't want to hot link. I usually do this with a uh, text page, but uh, we'll deal with that later. And then this one will probably end up being the second one that I use. So go ahead and copy that one as well. This one's going to be the ebook, and this one's going to be the soft cover book. 
So these are what I'm going to put in the um, copyright information page. So we're going to go ahead and hit assign title on our first one. And we're going to need a bunch of information here. Now, what's going on is this is establishing the metadata that is tied to the ISBN. So anytime a bookstore is going to uh, have the ISBN number and they'll scan the ISBN number, all of the information here is going to be available to them to use based on what they're doing. Now, you can do the short or you can do the expanded. The short one is just this long and then you submit it, uh, which contains basic information about the book. I like to do the expanded one, even though occasionally I do find the expanded one does seem to, it's not as intuitive to use, but we're going to go ahead and do that. So we have, um, we're going to go ahead and hit the title of the book. So this one is called Hanover, Whoop, and I type, spelled that wrong. Make sure you get stuff right here. Um, it really is important to make sure you get stuff right here. And then subtitle, we do not have a subtitle in this book. That is going to be optional. Uh, describe your book. Now, this one here is what we're going to use as a short description. So I'm going to copy the author's short description as he gave it to me and paste it in. And since I have, do I have a, uh, it looks like I do not have my, um, uh, tools checker on here. So I probably should, but, uh, oh, well. Original publication date. Uh, so we're going to put the current year. So current year is going to be that. And then our language, just go ahead and select our English. If you have other languages in here, you can select those. Then we have translated title. Copyright year is the same year, 2022. And then I do not have this number yet. You need the ISBN before you enter in the LCCN number. Uh, because you are required to have that to fill for the LCCN. So what you're going to do is come back later and add the LCCN. So you can come back and edit these at any point in time uh, so that you can adjust things or if um, somebody needs the, uh, if somebody needs, uh, you know, different metadata established with the book, or whatever else, we can do that. So here is our cover. Of course, we already have that. So we'll um, browse for it. Then we're going to push the upload uh, slash change cover image. Of course, you can only upload one file. So here's your image has been uploaded and it will take a few minutes to show up. You see the minimum and the maximum file size and that they want JPEG only. All right, so we're going to hit the save progress button and it tells us that it is not complete because we need a bunch of other stuff. We are aware of that. I just wanted to go ahead and set the save button and then we're going to move on to the next page. All right, so we have contributors. Uh, so to add a contributor, if you want to add a second contributor, you can go ahead and add another one down here. We only have one contributor here. And once again, just make sure everything is spelled correctly. And I'm going to use the book cover because I know the book cover is spelled correctly. Uh, okay. And... Double check that one more time. That looks good. No suffix. Biography. Um, I think uh, I usually ask my authors for biography, and I think I forgot to ask him for the biography. So I know enough about this author. I could probably write something up here, and I probably am going to just because um, I'll just go ahead and do it based on what he has. So we'll just go ahead and do that, and then I'll come back when I finish writing here.
All right, so now that I have the brief bio in there, and it could be longer, but that's okay. Um, I might ask him if he wants to send a better one out, and I can go ahead and edit that later on. So we're going to go ahead and hit the next button there. Now we're going to do the medium and the format. This is going to be, is this going to be what type of book? So we're going to go ahead and grab print book, and then the format's going to be a... Um, softback or um, uh, paperback or you might see it as a trade paperback depending on what's coming up in your list and then format details we might leave this blank it just kind of depends on what they have so in this case here um, this one's actually where we're going to do the trade paperback US and that will sign it in to say you know what type of book do we have with this attached to this ISBN number uh, packaging description, um, we can just leave this one probably blank. If you're doing things like uh, CDs or stuff like that, you can describe what you have. We're going to leave that one here blank. And then trade catalog, this is where does it go. Again, we're just going to leave that one blank for here. Uh, I don't have the weight, um, but we do have the units um, uh, or the, the size rather is going to be, here it is. Uh, so we have six. Uh, by nine and then actually let's do nine is the it's kind of weird which ones you pick okay there we are look at the pictures look at the pictures folks look at the pictures I think they've added this picture since recently okay length top to bottom okay so this is the nine width this is the six and then height this is, we don't actually have this, but it's going to be probably about half an inch or so, eh, maybe 7.75 inch. And then pick inches and the unit size. Number of pages, I think we are at 390, if I remember correctly. Number of illustrations, zero. Weight, we don't have any of that. Now we need genres. All right, so the genres, um, you can grab these listings and you usually work, uh, you know, you can grab the grab the listings from uh, from online or you can just kind of flip through these. This guy is a science fiction general. And if there is uh, like if there is like a dystopia fiction, we could do that as well. Uh, since it does cover that, it does also carry with it a few um, Christian themes. And so we could put it under religion as our second. So the first we'll do science fiction uh, general, and then second we'll put religion. Uh, sales and pricing. So the publisher, um, the imprint we are going to use is Worldware Press. Uh, there should actually be two. Okay, so if I and, and now if you have just a single company, you just use your main. If you have, in my case, I have a secondary imprint. Um, so an imprint is established by the same publishing company, but it is a uh, technically, at least for the books and for the records, a separate uh, entity. So I use Worldware Press as a science fiction imprint, and I use all my Christian stuff just goes under uh, Our Walk in Christ. We're going to put this in October, um, and I was going to do October 15th. Usually books and things, media comes out on like Tuesdays, so maybe we'll do, let's do 18th just to keep that on trend of things. So we'll do that. And then title status, we're going to do, so we could do either active record here or forthcoming. I'm not going to remember to come back and change it from forthcoming to active if I don't. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in as active record because it's going to take a few weeks for information to start uh, getting out. Um, so who is this written for? Probably a young adult audience. The book has some some themes it's a, a full-fledged uh, science fiction novel, but it is highly inspired by um, like graphic comic type uh, viewpoints. So probably on this one, we're going to go with 17 up. Um, and then academic grade, we'll just leave those ones out blank. Additional sales information, uh, title ship date, uh, return dates. I'm just going to leave those blank. If you're detailing very specific things, you can do that. And then set the dollar amount. And I'm going to need... I usually have this on my computer already, but since this is a different computer, I need to grab my information there.
So it looks like we're doing $16.99 is the agreed, agreed upon price. And we're going to hit available. U.S. dollars. We're going to leave all these out. Make sure you're setting your price to retail price. And then we have rights type. Uh, we'll do United States sales rights. Actually, I think we already have that in there. So let me. Okay, done with the U.S. market. And we're going to hit submit. And okay, it has been saved. Uh, uh, completely and we don't have any other errors so there is how we have our first one submitted all right so I can come back and do anything else but what we're going to do now is I'm going to go back up to my identifiers and then you can see that this one is pending and then what we can do is we're going to clone this and we're going to clone this into another um, another ISBN. Be sure to confirm the ISBN you're about to register has not been previously assigned uh, to avoid duplication. And we're going to grab the 76 number, I believe is the one we're going to grab. So we're going to clone to here. Now what this is going to do is it's going to bring in a lot of the information. So we do not have as much to fill out. But we're going to have to do some things uh, like choosing the formats and choosing the prices and things like this. So let's go ahead and just walk through all the different steps again, just to see what is different here. Go ahead and hit the upload button once you have selected the file. Again, we'll come in the LCCN number. Um, you do only need one for a print book. So uh, we will not need to enter this in or you just use the, the same number um, I just use the same number there. Okay, so all this information is saved. Nothing else to do there. Now this one here, it gives us um, uh, different information. So ebook, we're just going to do an electronic book text and the ebook file type. Um, there's a variety of different options in here, and chances are this is going to be distributed a variety of different ways. I'm going to pick EPUB simply because that is the uh, general, um, just the general size here. Uh, package description. This is just a, a digital, and if there's no digital, then we're just going to leave that one blank again. Ebook file size. So uh, based on megabyte size, I don't actually have that information yet, but based on other ones, let's just kind of call it one megabyte. Uh, not super important. And then here we're just going to pick the same uh, categories. So we're going to do uh, general science fiction. Now. Amazon, for example, is going to use these to guess where to put your books, but you're always going to want to go into Amazon and change your uh, categories, fine tune them and uh, stuff like that. And let's see. Everything there is good. There is good. There is good. And do we have an ebook price established yet? We do not. So let's going to go ahead and use our standard $9.99 for the ebook. And we're going to put available US dollars and retail price. Done with pricing data. And submit. All right. So, oh, not complete. For eh, information must be sent. Oh, um, we need to enter the date for uh, publication date needs entered. So let's go ahead and fix the publication date. All right. Next. 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 Publication date. Here we are. We need to do October. And we said we we're going to do 18th and 2022 active record young audience submit. Now that should clear the errors. All right. So now we have successfully completed that. Now that I have the ISBNs, I'm not going to waste any time. We're going to jump right on over into the Library of Congress and I'm going to um, get the LCCN number. But that is going to be a different video. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you to figure out how to get your ISBNs and maybe you understand a little bit better about what they are and how to use them uh, in the course of getting your book. Or maybe you look at this and go, eh, I'm just going to get a publisher to get me one. That's okay too. Uh, either one's the case. If you're publishing through any of my groups, we provide those for you. So you don't have to worry about any of this kind of stuff. I fill it all out for you. Um, so those are the factors. But hopefully this video has helped you out. And hopefully on this channel, we have taught you to get your writing done.